so we, we came here with Cinder because she was biting and jumping and um, not listening. And we had brought her to a trainer before and uh, that didn't work. Um, in the week since we've been here with Cinder, she's uh, like almost a whole new dog. No more biting the kids, no more uh, chasing them and jumping all over them for their food. Um, she, it's made a huge difference in, in her behavior and uh, the way she's acting. One time, um, after the day we came here, the first time, she was like a completely different dog. And when I had food in the car, she didn't even jump on me once. So it's a big difference, Molly? Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. All right, so talk a little bit about how she used to bite. And she would jump all over the kids. If there was food in the house, I couldn't have her in the house because she would attack people for it. And when she'd get it and I'd try to take it away from her, she'd try to bite us. Um, she used to chase the cats all over the house really bad. Um, she used to growl and snap at me if I would tell her no. Um, she used to knock Molly over. She used to chase the kids and bite them. Um, just general naughtiness. She was very mouthy if I told her no. She would bark at me. She'd bite me. Um, couldn't really have her in the house uh, because she was so destructive and so dangerous around my kids. So, yeah. Good girl. All right, so what I'm going to do is because she's obviously very bitey like this still, um, the jump, ah, ah, no, no. The jumpiness stopped, which is good, but she's still reactive here, which I'm going to just try to control her a little bit. Ah, ah, no. So this is a, uh, ah, nope, no. This is that reaction she kind of had last. Shh. No. No. Shh. No. Shh. Good girl. Freak out. I calmed her down. Okay. Because, like we said last time, and all I was trying to do initially was just put her slip lead on. Um... So like we said last time, because of her, she's been returned puppy, so somebody else couldn't handle her. To me, it looks like she bit her teeth, she's mouthy, they said, nope. They took it as I'm getting bit all the time, which, yes, but she's biting to release whatever she doesn't like. So see how I calmed her down after that little fight? Um, she's definitely better than last. Ah, ah, sit. Good. So she's very submissive to my commands now, which is good. Um, big difference from last time. Her attitude is her whole life. She's showed her teeth, grabbed something, and they go, oh. So she's always gotten what she's, she wanted. Um, so nobody's really cracked down on her like we're doing now. So it's very big. So the wrestling that I did was just stop. Because she wasn't viciously coming after me. She wasn't growling. She was just... Get off me! And her whole life, that's worked. So I just stuck it out, and I said, nope, 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 nope. And then she stopped, okay? And now we have this. So I didn't flip her on her back or make her do anything completely ridiculous and submissive. I just said, hey, you can't bite me. And now we have this, okay? So she is a puppy. She is um, semi-feral, if you will because um, we don't really know her background, and we do know that she was returned by another um, person, or another owner. Um, so she's edgy. So that's what I'm cracking down on, just like last time. So what I'm going to do is just go over some basic commands with positive reinforcement. She loves this. So I'm just going to reinforce her commands with, good job, you can have this now. And it makes working with me fun. It bonds us better. And so we'll just do a little bit more of that today. We'll do some leash work. Hi. So what I'm going to do is work on that leash pressure I was talking about, so the walking, except I'm just going to reinforce um, with food. Sit. Good, because she responds very well to food. Yes, is that yummy? Okay. Okay. Ah. Come. Come. Good girl. Good girl. 
So she's jumping for excitement. She's jumping because she, ah, 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 ah. So see that, that command gets her attention. Good girl. Come. Ah. Sit. Good. Come. Come. Good girl. Sit. Good. Good girl. Good job. Ah, ah, no. So that, ah, ah, is a, oops, no. See, so that's the kind of correction you'll need on her because she's, you know, limitless right now. I mean, she thinks she can do anything. So that jumping, you're combining a jump with a nip and it could get ugly, um, especially if it's for food, if she's something she really, really wants and you tell her she can't. So make sure you're just correcting those jumps because it could be bad in the end, especially when she gets a little bit bigger. But like I said, she's, we're working on her and she'll get a lot better. Come. Oh, good girl. And sit. Good. So that's good, all right? Because she didn't jump up at me. She didn't beg. She didn't whine. She's sitting politely. Um, and we're basically just um, getting her to do good behavior with food, which is good. But then slowly but surely, the food will be cut out from our trainings. And then she'll just be a good dog. So sit. Good girl. So you can see her behavior is changing. She's not so like, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. She's like, what do I need to do to get that? She's okay. stopping and she's, it's like she's thinking. She is thinking. She's thinking. She's up and she'd go to jump and then she'd stop. Right. And I could see that she was like, uh -huh. oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to do that. Yeah, she's getting, she's getting better at registering. Can't do that. Can't do that. Okay. Well, before it was like, give me, give me, give me. Okay. So we're changing her behavior for the better. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Good girl. So correction, and then enforce the positive reinforcement. Good girl, and then food. Okay, come on. Yep. Yeah, she's learning her boundaries now. Like I said before, her boundaries before weren't existing. <laughs> no. So now she's patiently waiting. Where before, remember when we first had her, I'd have this in my hand, she would lunge at me every second. <laughs> now she's whining, which is still better than lunging at me and taking off my fingers, but... Um, we're progressing. Come. So I'm going to engage with her. As soon as she starts whining, obviously she's, she's asking for this, but I don't want to hear her whine, so I'm just going to jump her up. Ah. Come. Good girl. Sit. Sit. That's good to hear that your walks are getting better. Um, that means that she uh, is listening to you a little bit more. She's looking. Good girl. So I'm just going to work her a little bit here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So I know one of the big things was before, uh, as soon as I got this back, she'd lunge right back at, like that at me. So what I'm going to do to correct that because it hurts is as soon as I get it, I'm going to put her into a sit, 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 sit. Good girl. Come. So that's one of the things I'm going to work on right now um, because I just don't want one of the kids to get nipped because she's not doing it maliciously. She's just give me that back. I want it. Okay, so we just have to teach her some, some of those manners. Ah, shh. sit. Okay, okay, come on. Hey, go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Good girl. Good girl. Good job, Cinder. Good job, Cinder. So we're playing. Good job. So I'm going to switch her to the long lead quick. So give her a little bit more room to run around. Once we break, because I want to work on her leash pressure. Hey. Come on. Good girl. Come on. And when I'm correcting her, I am layering over. Shh. No. Stop it. I'm layering over a verbal commands. So, ah, ah, means, nope. You're doing something wrong. Come on. Good job. Ah, ah. Good. Come. Ah, 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 ah. So that's the position I want. See how I backed her up? Just That's just with... Uh, that's just with my leash. I just said, hey, you can't go that far. So I'm going to turn and go the other way. Come. Good girl. Come. Come. Ah, 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 ah. Leash pressure. Good girl. Sit. So she controls, um, she controls the on and off switch. Okay? So if she does something I don't like, I correct her and pull her back. And as soon as she's right where she needs to be, then... The correction stops. Come. Ah. 
Good. Ah. Good. Come. Ah, 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 ah. Come. Okay, so now we're going to work on controlling the jumping, the, the counter surfing, the uh, if you don't give it to me, it's mine. So how to correct that behavior and how to let her know that that's not okay in, uh, I guess, in a mannerly fashion. Come. So what I'm going to do is put that bowl of food right there. And because she's so grabby, ah, ah, like that, so she's quicker than me. Um, so because she is like that, uh, it's bad. It's a bad habit because that's very impulsive, which isn't good for a puppy because it's very gimme, gimme, gimme. You know, that's how kids get their, ah, she bit my hand when, she, when they had that sandwich. Like she jumped up and grabbed my sandwich. That's how that happens. So I'm going to work on controlling that and something that you can do at home as well. Ah, no. So she looked at me and goes, dang it. No. Because it's going to get somebody hurt, especially for her. And that's probably why she was rehomed twice because she's grabby and nobody was like, hey, you can't do that. Or they were like, hey, how do I do that? Because I fought with, I fight with her, you know, sometimes. She'll roll over, she'll grab me, and then people just give up after that. Well, I don't. And we've overcome that now, which is good. But it's because I went the extra limit and got bit and rolled around with her and got scratched. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on this white plate so she sees it. And she, ah, ah. And she wants to grab me because she's like, nope. Because all of her life, ah. she, she's gotten out of things or gotten things even from just grabbing. So I'm letting her know that's obviously there. The bark is. <clears throat> okay, you're yep, yeah, so that's good, okay, so good job, okay, and as I, you know, kind of look away, and she's, she's going to be an opportunist, she's going to say, oop, mine, and she's, that's why she's so fast, because she's, she thinks something's going to happen, so I'm just desensitizing all of that work, where she just thinks, like, somebody's going to come and take it, or she's not going to get it, so I'm letting her know that, it's, hey, it's here, and you are going to get it, it's going to be on my terms, not yours, okay? So in the long run, as far as behavior goes, it'll play a key role because she's going to start thinking, okay, I can have that, but I have to ask for it or I have to wait for it, okay? So it's not necessarily what's happening right here, right now on this little plate. It's building that threshold of, I'm going to have that. I just have to wait for this crazy guy to give it to me because I know that this is what she wants, okay? So what I'm going to do is just get her a little closer. Come. Oh, I know. So now she's playing like the damsel in distress, like, oh, just give it to me, I'm gonna pass out. Okay, ah, ah. So yeah, I'm teasing her a little bit. Ah, no, no. Just letting her know she can't have that. Ah, good. So this is building that threshold of obedience that you have to listen to me, okay? It's right here, she wants it more than anything, but she won't go after it until I give it to her, okay? Like I said, this isn't, no. And that's where she wants to mouth me and say, mm, ah. see, Shh. no, 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 no. And as she's mouthing me, I'm telling her no. And she's just, but what about here? We let have it if I hit, no, it doesn't matter. I don't care about that. Good girl. So I'm just letting her know. It's so much easier if I just go, here you go. Then, and then a big battle. Good job. So just move it closer, right at her paws, right? Good girl. So this is the stuff that you can work on at home, okay? Because what she's doing is she is, yes, sir, okay? Does she want it? Yes. If I waited here for half an hour, would she go after it a couple times? Yep. But I'm, I'm desensitizing that, hey, there's food, it's mine. I'm like, no. Good girl. So where before, she jumped on the counter and took my sandwich off, and she <laughs> barreled after this whole bucket here. And now she's like, fine, I don't want it anymore. Sit, sit. Good. No, no. She got one there. <coughs> yeah, so that's, no. <coughs> so, it's fine. She, her, 
for her whole life, her reaction has been, if I can't have it, nobody can. Or I'm going to make a fuss about it. That's what she's doing. So that, she's whining. So think of a kid, but I want that cookie. That's what that is. Okay. So this creates that threshold of obedience. Like you can have it, you have to wait. So maybe next time she won't jump. So she'll say, okay, if I wait here long enough, I won't be bad and counter surf and jump and take it out of your hands even. Okay? Good girl. Wait. Nope. 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 <laughs> so that, that biting, it's, it's hard to correct unless you face it on. No. Nope. Nope. So she's getting more frustrated and more... Fr uh, she, she'll like start nibbling that she, she knows. No. Nope. Nope. No. So she wants to go after my hand, so I'm going to put my hand right in front of her and she's going to nibble on it. So as soon as she bites me, and that's when I'm going to um, tell her that that's not okay. I'm not going to put her on her back to expose her stomach. I'm just going to wait for her to submit like this. Good. Ah. No. Give her my hand. Ah, ah. No. And let her know that that's not okay. Okay. So that's like the same instance that if she... No. No. I'm, I'm so pushing my limits with her, okay? I'm asking for this. I'm doing this now at this age where it's not going to hurt that bad, okay? And I can control her. So I'm just grabbing her by the back of the, the neck like any other canine would. And I'm just saying, nope, I'm alpha, you're not. And as you see, she's, okay. But I am asking for it, okay? So I'm putting my body in front of her mouth here, and I'm going to get real close to her. So I'm, I'm, I'm asking for it, okay? But I'm letting her know that, go ahead. Because she's challenging me a bunch. Sit. You can see now she's like, ooh, sorry. Right? Didn't mean it. So, but she's that playful, like, and the only reason why she, she, the only reason why she's like this is because her whole life is, it, she's been, you know, that, just that dog that's been on the, the outskirts. People are like, oh, she bites. Here, take her. We're, now we're like, hey, no more biting. And I'm, and I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm asking for it. I'm, you know, this isn't stuff that you guys are going to go home and stick your fingers in her mouth. I am, because I want to correct her out of that and let her know that she doesn't have to do that. home your relationship with her will get better um, so it's good I'm, I'm glad that you're progressing because you're the second home that gave her a chance and you only get two to three to four you know and then it, after that it's like she's been rehomed four times then she gets put on a list that nobody likes to get put on so I'm hitting it head on and I'm saying you know you can't do it anymore so I'm glad that we've made progression you just have to be really careful about what you do um, and if she gets bitey and just, you just either say, you can't do that, or you say, okay, I'm done. I don't, you know, because she's not doing it to be mean. She's doing it to release something. So she's like, give me that. And you're like, no. She's like, ah, human drops the food if I hit the hand or whatever. Oh, it's a good girl. Oh, it's a good girl. Yeah. So a pretty good session today. Good girl. Um, I definitely recommend this training. It's working great. Um, huge results in a short amount of time. Even the ride home, she was a completely different dog in the car. Um, I, I, I've been talking about this training to everybody I know that has a dog because it really has been great. It's given us the dog we always wanted.